Welcome and thank you so much for joining me. So this is part two of factorizing quadratic ex expressions. Now with these quadratic expressions, you will notice that we have um, a number um, before x, which is, we call a, because we had ax squared in the formula. Now, when we're factorizing, we need to get rid of that number and put it on the outside. So to do that, I just want you to think about, we're having big brackets here, and I want that 2 to be on the outside. So I'm dividing every one of those by 2. So 2x squared divided by 2 is just x squared. Minus negative 14x divided by 2 is negative 7x. And 12 divided by 2 is positive 6. So now that 2 will stay on the outside and we do our rule as normal, which is we need to find... Um, we need to find two numbers that times together to equal c. And if you remember our rule, our rule is ax squared plus bx plus c. So c is 6. And we need to find two, uh, two numbers that add up to equal b. So if I'm, to, we always start with C as it's easier. What are the two numbers that we can times together to equal C? Well, we've got one times negative six. So we've got negative one times negative six. We've got one times six equals six. We have two and three. So negative two times three and two times negative three both equal 6, and that is everything. So then we look at, okay, what one of those equals negative 7? If I've got negative 6 and I'm adding negative 1, it equals negative 7. So that tells me our 2 still stays on the outside. This time we've got two brackets, two lots of brackets. Same rules apply. X, take 1, x take 6, using our numbers that we've worked out from our equation there. And there you have it. Because just remember, they're all being timed together, so that 2 being times with both brackets. Okay, let's have a look up here. Again, the first thing I'm going to do is put some big brackets in place. The next thing I'm going to be doing is okay, I'm putting negative 6 out the front. There we go. I want that negative 6 over there, out there. So now I look at that and I go, okay, I'm dividing everything by negative 6. So x, negative 6x squared divided by negative 6 equals x squared. 36 divided by 6 is 6, but I'm dividing it by negative 6, so it'll be a negative. Because just remember, when I, if, if I want to expand, negative 6 times negative 6 equals positive 36. Um, 30 divided by 6 is 5, but I'm dividing by negative, so it will be a positive 5. Because if I go negative 6 times 5, it's uh, negative 30. So, now I've got the A out onto the outside, because that's my, that was my common factor. I need to be thinking about these rules. So, what is two numbers that times together to equal C, which is 5? So, let's look at 5. 1 times 5 equals 5, and negative 1 times negative 5 equals 5. They're the only two. And, quite clearly, negative 1 plus negative 5 equals B. Remember, uh, numbers have to add up to equal B. So I've got my two numbers there. So then I'm just going to have my two brackets two lots of brackets, my negative 6 on, on the outside, and I use these numbers. x take 1, x take 5, and there you have it. That is my factorised form of my quadratic expression. I really hope that helps you um, understand a bit more about factorising quadratic expressions. If you need any extra help, message me and I'll get back to you.